Hi, this is Debbie Sternclar from the Voorheesville Public Library. And this is the second video about our new software, um, Read Squared. And today I'm going to show you how to log some more reading into your account and to explore the missions that the librarians have set for you. So we're starting again at our website, voorheesvillelibrary.org. And here you'll see the news that curbside checkout has started. You can now request items that you want to pick up. Um, so make sure you read the instructions on how to request titles and set a pickup time. And also our book drop is now open at the same time that um, curbside checkout is open. So read all about it right there and then slide down to the summer adventure at the Warple button. And we're going to log back in. Now, remember, um, we're using Artemis Fowl as an example. And Artemis already has an account. We're not going to register again. You don't want 10 different accounts. You want all of your points in one. So we're going to sign back in. His username was A Fowl. And his password was read to win. But you put in your username and your password to get into your account. And here's the dashboard. Here's the avatar we made for Artemis Fowl. He's still being a ninja today. And if you remember, we got a badge for making an account for registering. And it's a good thing that we did that before midnight on June 19th, because there's going to be a prize drawing, our first raffle prize drawing after midnight on June 19th. We'll be drawing one winner from the children's group and one winner from the teen group to receive a gift certificate to the Jericho Drive-In, $50 gift certificate to take your family to the drive-in movies. And then Artemis Fowl logged the first book into his um, reading account, so he has one badge already. And let's look back and see what he logged in so we remember and we don't do it again. So that's right, he wrote about reading The Wishing Spell and how much he liked it. So we're going to go back to logging. And today I'm going to show you how to log if you want to log minutes. So Artemis Fowl spent 60 minutes reading Stepping Stones, a new graphic novel. And here it popped up. It's by Lucy Nicely. Lucy Nicely. And it was a he thought it was a really good book. And um, the book is about Jen, and she has to move to a new house, to a new town, and share a room with her new stepsisters. Can you imagine? This isn't a Cinderella type tale, though. No, they're just regular old stepsisters. Um, but she gets to raise chickens. That sounds fun to me. Oh, there's our review. It's going to log our activity. We are getting 60 minutes. And 60 minutes is 60 points. So every level in here is 100 points. So we're not going to get another badge yet, but Artemis has been very busy and he spent another 40 minutes yesterday reading Guts by Raina Telgemeier. He's going to be in the tween book bunch book discussion. Um, so he has been reading Rain and Telgemeier's guts. So far, he likes it a lot, but he's not done yet. But he wants to record that he read those 40 minutes before he forgets, because that was yesterday. And we're going to submit that. When he finishes, he'll put in how many more minutes it took him to finish, because today he feels like counting minutes. So because we had 60 points from reading Stepping Stones and 60 point, uh, 40 points from reading Guts, even though we're not finished, we 
have read for another 100 minutes. So we have our level two badge. So we are up to 200 points. Now, there will be another raffle that I wanted to tell you about. So I'm going to log reading one more book that Artemis read on the 16th. He finished reading, let's see. Um, he finished reading Ghost by Raina Telgemeier. Is it Ghost or Ghosts? It's Ghosts by Raina Telgemeier because he was in, wanted to read a lot of her books. All right. And he gives that one a four. So he's going to enter that book. And for reading that book title, he's going to get another 100 points. So Artemis Fowl has completed level three. He wanted to make sure that he did that before midnight on Monday, June 22nd, because we're going to have our second raffle. For readers who have reached 300 points by midnight on Monday, June 22nd, we're going to have our second ra uh, raffle prize drawing. And the prize is a week of Indian Ladder Farms We Love Animals Barn School tuition. So you get to go to Barn School the week of August 3rd for free if you win this raffle. And this camp is open to uh, children ages 6 to 14. So we'll be combining the children's and the teen program and pulling one winner that's in that age group. So make sure that you've logged some of your books and some of your time reading and get your points up to 300 to be entered into that drawing. Now, I also was going to show you what missions look like. So we've set um, some activities so that you can get points um, for other learning adventures over the summer beyond reading. So some of them do have a reading component. This one, if you read a fairy tale adaptation and then there are other missions, let's just see what it looks like. So read a fairy tale adaptation or a fractured fairy tale like the Land of Stories or the Sisters Grimm series books. And if you remember, Artemis had read um, The Wishing Spell. So he can count that one. And here are some more choices. He can make a magical object. Oh, here it is. Making magic. Create a magical object from a fairy tale using craft supplies, Lego bricks, or art supplies to make a model or a drawing of a magical object. Write a label for the object. Upload the photo of your object. Or scan your art and we'll add it to our magical library. So I, I didn't make anything yet. So another choice is to talk, is to write about which magical object from any fairy tale would you like to borrow? And what would you do with the object while you had it? So um, it gives you a text box. I'm going to write about, um, I would like to borrow the spinning wheel. Um, Rumpelstiltskin. If you know the Rumpelstiltskin story, he had a special spinning wheel and he could spin straw into gold. I would like to borrow the spinning wheel from Rumpelstiltskin. I'm never sure how to spell Rumpelstiltskin. Close enough. And I would use it to turn the garden leaves into gold braided chains. I would give chains to each of anymore. How does that sound? So once I complete that activity, I 
have, Artemis has another badge for level four because he completed the mission. He can still go back and send us a picture of a magical object that he makes and we'll put it in our whole slideshow of magical objects. So let's see what some of the other missions are. And we may add more during the summer, so check back. Oh, register and participate in one of the amazing programs the library is offering this summer. So if you check our calendar and see what the different programs are, you could attend one. So in here, you're going to have to put the name of the um, program that you attend. So if you remember, I said, if you look on here, we're not using this event calendar. So it looks really bare, but you know, we're not, this isn't true. We're not doing nothing. We're trying to figure out how to fix that. But in the meanwhile, you can go back to the library's program uh, calendar, event calendar. And there are a lot of events on here. This is just June. There's the tween book bunch book discussion. There's Maker Club. Artemis likes to tinker with things, so he probably would really enjoy this. You get to pick up a different kit each week, a different maker kit. There'll be brush bots, paper circuits, wind turbines, and rubber band racers. So um, that might be something that you want to sign up for. Then later in July, I wanted to show you, you might want to join a cooking class. You can cook along with Jody Fitz. She's come to the library a number of times to make delicious treats with us. And during this time, she is going to be doing cooking classes from her studio. So if you register for this, you'll get an emailed shopping list and how to set up your kitchen and what to have ready. And then you'll be joining Jody and she'll do the cooking lesson and you'll have all the supplies right there and you'll make something delicious along with her. So that program is Monday, July 13th, either 10 o'clock if you're in grades, going into grades one to three, or 11 o'clock if you're going into grades four to six. There's even a teen cook along class at noon. So right here are the buttons to register and you can even set yourself a reminder. So that's an example of a program that maybe you would want to sign up for. And then once it's finished, you could complete that mission. Okay, another mission is Reading Without Walls. So this one does involve some reading. And we are challenging you to read a book about a character who doesn't look like you or live like you. Fiction, nonfiction, or a graphic novel. And we have a book list to give you ideas. A format challenge to read a format, a book in a format that you don't normally read for fun. Maybe a book in verse or nonfiction a biography, or maybe a downloaded audio book if you have never tried that. Um, if you always read, read graphic novels, maybe this time you're going to read a chapter book. And you get to re-enter the book in your reading record too. And the topic challenge, read a book about a topic you don't know much about. Enter the title once you've finished. Don't forget to put it in your reading record too. So maybe you're going to read a book about cooking. And you can use that for this challenge. So, are there any other missions? Let's see. Oh, there's one more where you can write a review. So you would write a, a longer review um, of a book that you liked. And if you're really creative, you could also um, maybe videotape yourself giving the review and send that to us. So, and over here, you'll see how many points you get when you complete each of those missions. And as I said, we might add more. So sign back in and check what the missions are uh, as the summer goes on. Let's see if we've unlocked any more games. Oh, wow. Because we did so many missions and read some books, we have unlocked some new games. And I mentioned we have reading lists where you might find your next book adventure. And if you want to know more about one, you can click on it. 
and go to the library catalog and it will tell you more about the book. Down here is a longer description. And also you can see if you can download the book. If you are not coming to the library, if you're on vacation, you can flip through and see if there's a downloadable one. There's one, a downloadable audiobook or a downloadable ebook. This book was even filmed. You can watch the DVD after you've read the book. We do not give any points for watching DVDs in the Summer Reading Club. We give points for a lot of things, but not watching DVDs. So there's some more about using the Read Squared software. And Artemis is, oh, all the way up to level five because of that mission that he completed. And don't forget when you're all done, you might want to log out, especially if you have a, a brother or a sister who might be putting in their books. You don't want to get your um, accounts confused. And it's as easy as that as that. So keep reading, keep logging your progress. And I hope to see you picking up some books at the library. And good luck on those raffle drawings. Bye for now.